So in this video today, we're going to be looking at how we can use the lookup to return values or multiple values within the same cell in Excel. So starting out, we can see that we have here our names of all of our people that work and the training that they've undertaken. We can see within this though that we have duplicates of data. So we have Elon who's done Excel work and we also have Elon who's done more Excel work. So we have duplicates in terms of the person who's done the training twice or might have done an extension of the training. But then taking into account that we have people like Bernard who's done Excel and Bernard who's done Microsoft Word. So first of all, the first problem that we need to understand is we need to get the unique values of the people within our teams. To get this then we can use the unique function. So we're going to press the equals and then we're going to type in the unique function there. We can see that it's asking us for the array of what we want. We know that the array is going to be A2 down to A14. At this point now we can just press the F4 key to lock this in. And we can see that we get the dollar signs of where we want to do there. We can close the parentheses and then press enter. So now we have a list of all the people that have currently worked or are working within our department. What we need to now understand is getting a list of all of these different things here. So we need to, if we start out with Elon to start out with, and then we can see how we can work with this. So we're just going to use a basic if function with it. So we can say if, and our logical test for this one is going to be that if the cell D2, so if Elon is equal to, and then within that, what we can do is select the row or the column, sorry, where Elon will be, press F4 to lock that one in. Then what we want to do is if it's true, we want to return the value within column B. So again, we can lock this in. If it's false, then we're just going to return a blank like so. Close the parentheses and press enter. And we can see here just by looking at Elon that we have Excel and Excel. But for us, what we need to do now is we need to not have this dropping down the columns as it would just spill because we would be overlapping if we did this. We need to bring this all together. So if you have Excel 2019 or Excel, uh, sorry, Office 365, then you should have the text join function here. And we can see from here what we're going to do then is we're going to put in a delimiter. So what do we want our things to be spaced out by? And we want it to be spaced out by the comma and then a space. We need to press the comma to move into the next one. Uh, we don't need to worry about empty cells. So we can press true at that point and the text that we want here. So the formula that we put into here is what we can use at this point. And we know that this is the equals if and then we have the logical test. So if D2 is equal to the column there that we have, locking that in, then we're going to make that the true part. So we want the true to be the training that we have there, locking that in with the F4. And if that's false, then again, we'll just leave that blank and then close the parentheses. And we need to close the parentheses because we have the if, that's the closing the if there. And we now need to close the text join function. Just take out the equals there and we can press enter. And now we can see that we get Excel, Excel. So what we can do is we can just copy this formula over and paste that into there. And we're going to change this B2 to the D2 that we need it to be. And now we can see that we get the Excel, Excel. And if we were to copy this down, then we can see at this point that we get all of the different formulas. So we can see at this point then that we're getting the duplicates here and we're getting the Excel, Excel, and you know, we're down here, the Microsoft, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word, and we don't want that. So what we can do is we can come into the middle here and where it all starts to bring itself together, we can just include the unique function like so, just adding on the extra parentheses just to close it there. And now we can close that up. And by closing it up like that, if we just drag that down, we can see now that we're only going to get the one training that that specific person has done. And we can delete out the data there. And it just gives us a nice list there of anything that anybody's done. So if we were to say there that Warren, for example, if we just copy Warren down and we can see that he's done Word there, then let's change over there. And now we can see that this will just add him in really easily there, just adding it on for him. And we can see all the different training that he's done. So hopefully this helps. Any questions, don't forget to ask. And we'll see you again soon.